now the laburnum top uh, like i told you laburnum is a short heighted tree with many branches uh, you have just seen the image of it and its leaves and uh, fruits are poisonous in nature so the birds prefer to make their nest uh, in such kind of trees in order to keep uh, their nest and their younger ones safe now in this poetry you will see a relationship between a goldfinch and a tree you have seen goldfinch how it looks like the poetry talks about the power of love that love can uh, conquer a lot of things right and the hardships of life the hardships of life when uh, the goldfinch the mother goldfinch has to leave uh, its younger ones in order to search for food now the goldfinch has to leave its younger one all throughout the day because the goldfinch goes out in order to search for food now the poetry says that how the goldfinch brings life to the tree as soon as it enters in the branches of the tree right the 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 tree has been compared to a machine and uh, the engine has been compared to the goldfinch so as soon as the engine the the goldfinch enters the tree the machine starts working right there is a lot of chirrup there is a lot of a lot of noises or voices that could be here in the laburnum tree which otherwise is silent most of the times okay so let's read it line by line we'll understand the meaning of the poetry goldfinch like i told you it's a small singing bird with which has yellow feathers right poetry is written in the uh, in the autumn season that is in september let's read it line by line the la the laburnum top is silent quite still the laburnum top the top of the tree is silent quite still still is motionless or silent again in the afternoon yellow september sunlight so it shows the time when the poetry is being written or uh, when the when the tree is being discussed it's the time of autumn season usually in september a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen now the few seeds uh, the few leaves are turning yellow in color just like what happens in autumn season and all its seeds fallen till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup now the tree seems to be still it seems to be motionless till the time this goldfinch comes and enters in the tree right now it comes with a twitching chirrup twitching is a movement of a small body part right and chirrup is the sound made by birds so when the goldfinch comes it comes with a sound a suddenness a startlement at a branch end suddenness is a abrupt movement all of a sudden startlement is amazement at a branch end so there can be certain movement that can be heard at the branch end at the end of the branch so of course when a when a bird is entering in a tree it is going to end uh, it is going to enter from the end the branches of the tree right and usually when you see a nest it's in the middle part of the tree so whenever a bird enters it is going to end from the branch end so this line describes the movement of a bird here goldfinch who is entering the tree right with a lot of chirrup okay then sleek as a lizard and alert and ab abrupt now sleek is something that is smooth something that is shiny and glossy right then sleek as a lizard that means the way goldfinch enters the tree from the branch end to the thick part of the tree the movement is quite sleek it's quite smooth right so the movement of a goldfinch while entering the tree has been compared to that of a lizard so 
then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt she's alert the cold finch is alert and it's abrupt all of a sudden she enters the thickness and a machine starts up now as soon as she enters the thickness of the tree right the machine starts up now here machine we are not talking about machine in literal terms here the machine symbolizes the tree the tree starts up it feels that tree has a life the tree which was silent all this while because goldfinch was not there suddenly it starts up right it can be compared to a machine and who is the engine of that machine it's the goldfinch and the machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings now chitterings are the chirrups again the sound made by birds is chitterings and a tremor tremor of wings tremor is a very uh, what do you say a very jerky kind of a movement is tremor so tremor of wings and trillings trillings is something when uh, when you get excited the sound right short high sounds is known as trillings you can say so tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrills trembles is shakes and thrills is get gets excited that means as soon as this little bird enters in this huge tree the tree uh, it bring it feels like the goldfinch has got some life to the tree the tree which was otherwise motionless started starts to uh, react or starts making certain sound right starts to tremble becomes excited it is the engine of her family now she is the engine of her family here you can understand the statement in two respect number 1 she is the engine of the tree family is tree right she is the engine of the family right or else you can say she is the engine of her own family of her younger ones because she nourishes them she gets food for them she takes care of those of uh, the younger ones right so she supports her family and that is why she has been compared to the engine and she has been called as engine of her family have you understood by far yes ma'am yes ma'am okay she stalks it full then flirts out to a branch end right she stalks it full that mean stalks here is a uh, fuel giving adding fuel to the engine is stalks so she stalks it full then flirts out to a branch end floats out is flutter out to the branch end that means she gives food she gives nourishment to the tree to its younger ones so she gives them fuel she gives them food to eat right complete food she stalks it full then floats out to a branch end and then quickly she flutters out to the branch end that means she is uh, uh, getting ready to take a flight now okay because the younger ones are too small they cannot find their own food so what she does she gets food for them right she gets food for them she collects them gets it for them she feeds them the food that she has got and then she uh, floats out she flutters out showing her bard face identity mask now bard is having stripes if you look at the face of goldfinch it has a bard face it has stripes on its face identity mask like a covering right so it's basically means the face of goldfinch is not seen properly right so the young ones cannot see the mother properly but they know the mother is there to take care of the younger ones to give nourishment to the younger ones right showing her bard face identity mask 
so because of the face of the goldfinch i'll just show you the picture as well the the goldfinch has a barred face it has stripes on his face and seems like that she's wearing a mask right now the children cannot face see the younger ones cannot see the face of her mother of their mother clearly because because of the lines or the stripes that it has then then with array delicate whistle chirrup whisperings she launches away towards the infinite now with her chirrupings she goes to the infinite infinite here is the sky right very is strange delicate is something that is very soft whistle chirrup whisperings the whispering sound the whistling sound she makes these this sound and then she goes to the infinite she launches away launches away means flies away towards the infinite infinite here means the sky right again the way she enters by making a lot of chirpings in the same manner she launches away she goes to the infinite and the laburnum subsides to empty and again the laburnum tree which was working few moments back comes to halt right which calms down subsides means calms down to empty to any limit right to uh, to to empty that means there is no whispering no chirping that could be heard when the goldfinch flies away all right startlement i told you it's amaze amazement and you can also say it's like a sudden surprise okay that's it have you understood the poetry all of you yes ma'am now while i say power of love when i say power of love is the theme of the poetry that it means love can win all right the tree which seems to be dead which seems to be motionless by just one bird it can be brought to life because the goldfinch has enough love right goldfinch is uh, helping the younger ones by feeding them she's getting she's working hard to get food for its younger ones right so power of love it's the love that changes all is what has been discussed in the poetry other than that is the hardships of life now the goldfinch the mother the mother goldfinch she does not want to leave her uh, leave its younger ones alone in the tree in the nest but she does not have a choice she knows that she is the only caretaker for its younger ones she has to work hard she has to go and find food for the younger younger ones and that is why she has to leave them no matter they might be a day old or a two day old she does not want to leave the younger ones but she does not have a choice so it's the hardships of life wherein she has to leave the children and uh, children would be alone throughout the day right when you it, it, that's so uh, what do you say something that is so sentimental wherein wherein every animal does understand every mother animal does understand that you know they are very close to their younger ones and when they are close to younger ones they they know that their younger ones need mother right because they they will not be able to fight on their own against any predators right so the mother has to go out to find something or the other for its young ones right no matter she is not willing to but she knows in order to keep them safe in order to uh, keep them uh, in order to continue with the arrival she has to go out she has to work hard in order to find something or the other to eat right so because of her the entire tree starts making a sound it it feels like she has given life to the tree right so this is how we can express power of love and the hardships of life in the way that the uh, mother goldfinch has to go out 
she has to leave uh, its young ones alone throughout the day in order to find or search food for its younger ones that's it any doubts anybody is having no ma'am